What's up, everybody? Today, we are going to make a pattern in Photoshop. So we're going to start by creating a new document here. And we want to make the document 5,000 by 5,000 resolution at 300 pixels per inch. Color mode, we're going to start out CMYK on a solid white background. And you're going to press create. 16, 16 bit is cool. I'm going to press create. Here you have solid background. First thing you want to do is take the rectangle tool and you don't want to drag and create um, your square. You want to click because you want to make sure that each each of these are going to be the same size. So the width, we're going to start with 1000 and then we're going to make sure you click to create this triangle. I mean, this rectangle, I'm sorry. Then the height you want to set at 5,000. We have a rectangle. You can click on it, click on the thumbnail to change the color so you can see it. And the first thing we're going to do is um, Command A, Control if you're on the PC. And we're going to Command A and select everything that's on this canvas. So after selected, what we want to do, we want to, hold on, I got to hide this, uh, these controls. Um, the first thing we want to do is align the shape to the top. I'm gonna click the move tool and we're going to align the shape to the top. And then we're going to align the shape all the way to the left edges of what we selected. And we're going to deselect. Command D, control if you're on a PC. And now we have our rectangle tucked nice and clean to the edges of our square, of our background. We're gonna take this, this object and we're gonna command, control if you're on a PC and press J and duplicate it four more times. You can rename these if you want, but we're going to end up turning this into one solid object. So it's, it's not the biggest thing. You want to click on it, change, choose another color. I like to stay in the same range. So all I'll do is choose which colors I want to be in here. We're going to choose that. We're going to pick a green. We're going to pick a yellow. Oh, it's kind of mustardy. We're going to pick a this gold is color, I guess. And we're going to pick a red. And with the move tool, we can select the layer and just drag this color. Hold shift. Shift will allow you to stay on one plane, whether you're moving up or down. We're going to select the next color. Move that over. Select the next color. Boom, there we got colors of our rectangle. Uh, uh, all five rectangles colored and spaced evenly. So we're gonna select this layer, hold shift, select all the layers that have our color shape. We're gonna right click and we're going to convert this into a smart object. You know, this whole time you want to make sure, you know, before that step, we want to make sure that we didn't have any um, strokes on these objects. So we go here. And now that we have this, we can delete this background. Go here. Simply unlock the layer and then press delete. There you have it. Now is where it gets fun. So we're going to take this. 
we're going to take this small object we're going to go to filter make sure we have the layer selected go to filter distort polar coordinates and it's going to take our shape and uh, spread it evenly around our square we want this rectangle to polar press ok We're going to take the same layer, go up to filter, blur, Kashan blur. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, we're going to set, leave it at 50 pixels and press OK. All right, from here, we're going to go back to filter again. We're going to go to distort and we're going to go to twirl. Excuse my Mac. We're going to set this all the way down till I've been making a lot of patterns, a lot of tie dye. Um, set, take this all the way down to negative 600. Going to press OK. And now you have uh, your, your swirl that we're going to make our tie dye from, the twirl image. So next, we're going to just take this image. Go to mode and we're going to RGB. We're going to rasterize this. We just took the image from CMYK to RGB. Now rasterizing, and we took all those filters and now they're permanently applied to this image. So our next step is to go to filter, liquify. When you go to liquify, this is going to allow us to really get into detail on how we're going to make this tie dye. You want to make sure that this box is checked. This is very important, pen edges. This is going to make sure that no matter how we distort this image, it won't peel. It won't peel. Oh, excuse me, let me make this smaller. No matter how we distort this image, it won't move this and leave a transparent background. The edges of this image will stay pinned to the artboard. So this is very important that we pin this. So from here, we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to use the forward warp tool. This is this right here, the little finger. Hold you hover over it. You just press W as a shortcut key. We're gonna use this. You're gonna set your brush at about 250, 300. You're going to end up playing with this. So, you know, you just experiment. The density at 100, your pressure at 100. And then we're going to go here and you're just going to draw lines. Excuse me. I'm going to draw your tie dye lines. Pretty cool, right? These are the straightest lines. We can get a lot better with a like a drawing surface, a Wacom or Santique or something like that. Um, from here, you want to play with your brush size and get your lines exactly how you want them. So now I'm gonna do some smaller strokes, a couple smaller strokes. Try to keep it a uh, kind of uniform. I'm going to start here at blue instead of starting in the middle. Do this all the way around like I just did with those other ones. You could do as many as you like. You know, it's up to you. It's not getting too much out of here because I'm only blending one color. So dig a little deeper, come back here, dig some, dig a little deeper into my circle, start at orange when we get out here, maybe green when we get out here. Oh, this the blue I was pulling from the whole time, silly me. 
setup. Wow, our blue got smaller in the twirl as it went clockwise. But this looks pretty good to start with, nice and bright. And um, as you notice, a lot of this here in the middle is, is kind of pulled out. So what you want to do is you want to take the pucker tool, this here, and you want to kind of squeeze this in. So you want to take your pucker tool, and you just want to make sure your brush is big enough. And you just want to tap that in to kind of bring those colors in a little bit. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is what I think is the coolest part of this whole tie-dye creation process is using the actual twirl clockwise tool, which is going to blend and spin all these images. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Um, we're gonna take our brush size, we're gonna move this thing up pretty big. So, so it's covering our entire image. We're gonna say about 7,000, uh, maybe eight. 8,000, and you wanna make sure that, uh, 8,000. And you wanna make sure that your density is set at five, it, your your pressure is at 100 and your rate is all the way to the max. I'm just going to find a center. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller using the open bracket shortcut key. Close bracket. And then you're just going to hold and you're just going to watch it twirl and create this amazing tie-dye effect. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Just like that, custom tie-dye. Only thing you have to do now is to press okay. 